Welcome to Slow American English, the podcast for learners of American English. I'm your host, Karen Tolliver. This is episode number 1512, Twas the Night Before Christmas. This month, I will read a poem about Christmas. It is perhaps the most familiar and most beloved poem about Christmas in the USA. This poem is often read aloud by a member of the family when everyone is gathered on Christmas Eve. The poem, originally titled Account of a Visit from St. Nicholas, is now commonly referred to as Twas the Night Before Christmas, which is also the first line of the poem. This poem initially appeared in a newspaper called The Troy Sentinel in upstate New York on December 23, 1823. It was submitted anonymously. There is a debate that continues today about the original author. The author was probably either Clement Clark Moore or Henry Livingston, Jr., the poem has been adapted in many ways and is often quoted, misquoted, and parodied in popular culture. References to the poem and its style can be seen in many cartoons, comics, films, literature, and musical pieces. In fact, the modern ideas of Santa Claus, his sleigh, and eight reindeer come from this poem, as well as the fact that he visits houses on Christmas Eve by coming down the chimney. Here is the original text of the poem. An account of a visit from St. Nicholas. T'was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer, with a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Dunder and Blixum, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys was flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry, his droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, 
and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying a finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprung to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. That's the podcast for this time. Slow American English is written and produced by Karen Tolliver. Copyright 2015. The music for this podcast is written and performed by S.W. Campbell and used by permission. The opening theme song is Junie Says. The ending music is Beans and Dirty Rice. Find these songs and more music by this artist at www.soundclick.com slash S-W-C-A-M-P-B-E-L-L Please visit www.slowamericanenglish.net for a free transcript of this podcast. There you can also download additional materials for a small fee. Such materials include regular speed recordings, vocabulary exercises, comprehension quizzes, and discussion topics. You can subscribe to Slow American English for free via iTunes. This has been Slow American English. I'm Karen Tolliver. Thank you for listening. Chicken of the sea.